Hello again there. Welcome once more to this business class, proudly sponsored by O3 Schools Jam App, the only app you require while preparing for your jam. Now, one more time, your activation key costs exactly 2,500 Naira, and this will allow you access all the features on this app. The features are varied, they include quizzes, uh, you are able to search through the past questions by topic making it much easier for you as you study to actually go to that topic and answer every question that has come out in jam under that topic so there's no reason to be afraid that you will try to buy your key and you not be attended so that's not possible it is automatic and it's very very trustworthy so auto risk was jam back and with that we are off to the races this class we shall be focusing on projectile now what is a projectile projectile is simply when a body follows a parabolic path in space that means a body which follows a path looking something like this now it could be either this complete version or one which seems to start off halfway either of these fall under projectile so a body thrown vertically upwards doesn't belong a projectile or a car driving on the road horizontally doesn't belong to a projectile this is what we look at in projectile and basically we could divide it into two tiny groups now for the first one we could say a body projected horizontally from a height body which is being projected horizontally from a height say we have a tower and you kick a ball off it horizontally this ball is going to fall something like this this is an example of projectile now there's an initial velocity attached to this body there's the height of this tower and there's how far it will go so it falls and that's called range now on that projectile that looks like this we have two small formulas we can use number one the distance is equals ut and the height equals one over two gt squared however for the sake of conveniences at times we can include the text formula which is that making t square root of formula of i a c equals to square root of 2h over g questions under this category are usually quite simple and now let's take a look at a few of them starting with example one okay example one go to your jump app question 2018 model 3 number 18 2018 model 3 question number 18 question goes a body is projected horizontally with a velocity of 15 meter per second 15 one five meter per seconds from a cliff of height 180 meters height 180 meters what is the range of the body i want to remember range refers to this horizontal distance traveled before it falls so we want to find s now if you look at it almost every solving in this type takes one special form right now i know the initial velocity and i know the height i want to find the range if you look at the range i need velocity and time but i do not know time yet which means i must get my time from this formula so quite simply c equals the square root of 2h over g so the square root of 2 times 180 and taking g as 10 0 comes to 0 2 times 18 is 36 root of 36 is 6 seconds and once i know this quite simply i must then know that x equals ut u is 15 and t is 6 giving me 90 meters 
and that is our option a very very simple let's try one more and see that they all follow this general pattern this one comes from 2018 model one question number 24 question number 24 2018 model one this question says a missile was projected horizontally from the top of a building if it takes a velocity of three meter per second and the range of projection is nine meters we have to find the height of the building now if you notice this is just a tiny reversal of what we just did in this case now i know by this the range or the horizontal distance i know the velocity i want to find the height if i look here one more time to get the height i also require time which means the first thing i must do one more time is to calculate my time however this formula will not be any help right now because i do not know the height so i will turn back to this first formula and say s equals u t that means 9 equals u is 3 times t over 3 over 3 9 over 3 is 3 seconds and once i know that my t is 3 then i can say h must be 1 over 2 gt squared that gives me 1 over 2 times 10 times 3 squared 3 here is 1 3 to 10 is 5 and 3 squared is 9 giving me a distance of 45 meters which is option c so you see these questions follow the same pattern either you are finding the range finding the height finding the time but no matter how the question this is your method now that is that for the ones being projected horizontally very height now the next category has to do with a body being projected at an angle from a particular plane and returning back to that plane i'm projecting this body at an angle from a plane this is my plane projecting it at an angle and it's going to leave this plane and return this is my initial velocity this is the angle now obviously as it moves there reaches a certain point where this object attains maximum height then also the distance from here that it comes down is called range now in this place there are about four different concepts to look at number one is called the time of flight time of flight as the name implies how long was this object in the air how long was it flying and the simple formula for time of flight is 2u sin theta over g that's all time of flight is 2u sin theta over g then also there is the time taken to reach maximum height time taken to reach maximum height now with a bit of casual observance you notice that your maximum height occurs at the perfect center of your motion at the perfect halfway point the time taken to go up equals the time taken to come down and therefore that must mean that time to reach maximum height will be the time of flight over two and if i also divide this by two i would get u sine theta over g so that is the formula for time to reach maximum height first formula we look at is the maximum height itself h equals u squared sine squared theta over 2g now some of us would be like what does sine squared theta mean sine squared theta simply means i'm going to find sine theta first and then square it what i'm simply going to do will be sine theta all squared this is the more mathematical way to write this exact same expression then the fourth thing we shall be asked to solve for is range and range equals u squared 
sine 2 theta over g. Now don't mix them up. For maximum height, it is sine squared theta. But for range, it is sine 2 theta, 2 times theta. Now, however, for range, as you would have tested as a human, when trying to throw an object, depending on your angle at which you throw it, will tell you how far it will go, even if you use the exact same force. There's a certain way you throw it that you obtain what we then call maximum range. And so we can now note that for maximum range, for maximum range, theta must be 45 degrees. If you want your object to go the farthest distance possible for a certain velocity, the angle must be 45 degrees. And then the formula reduces to arrow max equals e squared. Remember, if theta is 45, times 45 becomes 90, and sine 90 becomes 1. So purely e squared over g. That is my formula for maximum range. And with this, I believe we are ready to solve examples under this particular type of projectile. All right, so taking some examples, we are starting with example one. A shooter wants to fire a bullet in such a way that its horizontal range is equal to three times its maximum height. Wants to fire a bullet in such a way that the range goes to three times the maximum height. At what angle should he fire the bullet to achieve this? This seems simple enough. We want the range to equal the mark three times the maximum height, and we want to find out the angle it requires to do this. What do we simply do? We can say what's the mark for range? U squared sine 2 theta over g. And what's the formula for maximum height? There will be three, obviously, before that. It will be u squared sine squared theta over 2g. Now, if you look at this, g can cancel g, and u squared can take care of u squared. I'm left with sine 2 theta equals 3 over 2 sine squared theta. And this really little bit of mathematical knowledge will help you out. Because you should know that sine 2 theta equals 2 sine theta cos theta which should be equals to 3 over 2 Why sine squared theta equals basically sine theta times sine theta so this sine theta can take care of this sine theta then if i divide both sides by cos theta i'm going to have that 2 equals to 3 over 2 tan theta so if i cross multiply leaving tan theta alone tan theta becomes equal to 4 over 3 and then to get my answer i simply find tan inverse of 4 over 3. now finding that with your calculator what is the tan inverse of 4 over 3 so simply imputing in your values gives you your angle as 53.13 degrees which is our option a now this question is from 2006 question number 19. okay and now we'll look at a second example in this case we are told a projectile is fired from the ground level with a velocity of 300 meters per second 300 meters per second at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal that equals 30. we have to find the time taken to reach maximum height now it's a very very simple question remember the formula is c equals to u sine theta over g time taken to reach maximum height so quite simply put in your values 300 sine 30 over 10 this zero cancels the zero and gives me with 30 times 0 0.5 and that gives me 15 seconds and that is our option d 
this question is from 2015 question number 28 and one more time this reminds you of why you should be familiar with your trigonometry because 30 degrees is a special angle and we are supposed to know like 0 0.5 while for the previous question this is from 2006 and as such back then they used four figure tables which is no longer allowed in your jump center so your questions in this topic for your angles would generally come with either 30 45 or 60 degrees which brings us to the next question this question can be seen in your jump app at 2017 model 2 question number 29 2017 model 2 question 29 this one tells us a bullet is fired at an angle of 60 degrees to the vertical now this one is a little bit tricky this bullet is being fired at an angle of 60 degrees to the vertical 60 degrees now if you remember we always use the angle to the horizontal not the vertical so if to the vertical is 60 then the horizontal must be 60 90 minus 60 which is 30 degrees see the trick were you to solve with 60 then you obviously will not get the answer so you must note that the angle you solve with is always the angle to the horizontal and never ever angle to the vertical now we have been asked to find the maximum height so once you figured out the angle trick the question becomes like every other typical question maximum height is u squared sine squared theta over 2g and um the velocity is 50 meters per second so 50 squared now instead of writing sine squared theta i can write sine 30 all squared all over 2 times 10. now this gives me 50 squared is 2500 sine 30 is 0 0.5 and 0.5 squared is 0 0.25 all over 20 and so avoid any mistakes right now as we are going to go and press this into our calculator 2500 times 0 0.25 divided by 20 and the obvious answer is at 1.25 meters which if we take a look at our question is option a so you see quite easy and with that we shall solve one last question and we shall be able to know that we have fully covered the topic which is projectile so for this last example we are told we are looking at 2019 model 2 question number 51 2019 model 2 question 51 we are told in this case a projectile has a maximum range of 40 meters arrow max is 40 meters remember maximum range we have to find the speed of projection. Remember that we said for maximum range, the angle must be 45 degrees. And that reduces the formula to simply becoming u squared over g. Therefore, that means that our max is 40 goes to u squared over 10. First multiply, u squared equals 40 times 10, which is 400. And obviously, that means u equals the square root of 400, which is 20 meters per second. Option D. See? Quite easy. So for projectiles, you have to keep your eye on learning your formulas first of all. Never ever solve with the angle to the vertical. Determine which type of projectile you are looking at at the beginning of the question. The first category or the second category. And you should be able to tackle any question that comes to you in this topic. And with that, I say thank you for listening. My name is Athanasius. Remember, go to school's jump up. Thank you again.